Welcome back, Indie Game Fanatics, to another First Look video. In this one, we're going to be checking out Card and Seal, the demo for it. Game releases apparently on Thursday, is what I've been told. Uh, the demo was added in September to Steam. Uh, Card and Seal is a deck building roguelike RPG adventure featuring over 300 characters and 50 voice vocal songs. Earn a chance to recruit new allies with each victory, opening up new strategies and combos. Okay. So then, if it's something to do with songs, then... I want... Mute voices off. Okay, cool. I want to make sure I had that set right. Let's get, bring out chat again. There we go. Alright, let's check it out. Real world. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Who cares about the real world. Project RT. Helios Int. Body. Please save the world. Everything about this message is suspicious, but... Very much so. Project RT. All right, um, I like this game already. Like, that's a really cool lanyard the character's wearing. And I like how the it's got the, the rainbow graphics around the card and also around the sword and in her eyes. I'm begging you, card deck. Please, heed my call. Oh, it's a card deck. If only I had proper access. It's like a Salazar is threatening her right now. You use the sword, woman. You're holding a giant sword. Oh, who's this? Is this me? Project RT. Yep, this is Rust Tactics. Full dive complete. Huh. Now then, you must be the one who sent me that request. I'm Neon. Neon Nanashiki. I assume you know me? The gaming chair detective? Why are you here? Interesting. Huh? Wait. This is Salazar from Ginkendo's Monster Racing RPG. Capsule creatures, isn't it? This is very meta so far. Are Helios for real? I know the game's still mid-development, but using characters from other properties is a big no-go. Yeah, no crap. That's, uh... It's gonna get them in trouble. Not like a hacker's got any right to talk, but are they really adhering to compliance and stuff? Nope. That's mad obstructive data, otherwise known as a mod. <laughs> That's not what a mod stands for. <laughs> it's an anomaly that exists regardless of the dev team's wishes. Be careful. Oh, that's their version of what a mod is, though. All right. Kidding me? This thing just shrugged off a debug weapon. That's cheating. Mods are anomalies. Weapons from this game's world won't work against them. Please take this, Mr. Detective. A card deck? It doesn't seem like it works, though. No way. I thought you could make it work. I created the deck myself, but it requires a high level of administrative access to use. Well, then, that makes things simple. Yep, let me just hack myself some admin out. access. This will be good. Hey. Admin access granted. Time for a prismatic show. The, the deck activated in an instant. Now it should work. You're currently open to the enemy's attacks. Please try and avoid them. All right. Avoiding enemy attacks. The card has been used in various ways, mainly for movement or attacking enemies. 
Take this card for example, pressing left click will use the card to move you upwards, dodging the enemy's attack. Oh. Use a card to move. So I'd want to select one of these two. Uh, this one has far more damage, but it takes oh well, it's more than double damage. Let's, Let's play, open this. Honey. A little game of pleasure and pain. Hey there, cutie pie. Fancy becoming my sword? Interesting. Sorry, I got a cat here. Artemis. I'm busy, buddy. Busy. Not enough cost, not enough cost. So how do I do it? I don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't have the ability to move <laughs> enough. I need a cost that has zero damage, so something like this. Bar previous next special standard return. Did I just get like really unlucky and like got given cards that won't allow me to move? Why are those all discarded too? Hey there, cutie pie. Fancy. Yeah, so I needed Spirit of the Castle, but I can't because I don't have it. So yeah, I I don't know what I'm supposed to do, guys. Oh, there we go. The enemy will begin their attack once your turn is over. So Be because careful. I right clicked on and I discarded it, it moved me. Now it's our turn to attack. Okay. Okay, I get it. So left click is to play the card. Right click is to discard it. Each of them can have an effect. Your cost will recover at the beginning of each turn. You will also drive five cards, okay? The card's power should allow you to deal damage. And then I'm gonna have to move. So we're gonna do that. That. Uh that. And then this. You can end your turn even Right. I think I've got this down. Leave the rest to me. All right, we figured it out. It was very confusing the way it was laid out, but we got it. What is that? Go down again. I'm gonna show her my step. He's the only one that understands All right. me. And we got this.
Full dive games. That's the official term for fully immersive VR games. With how commonplace they are nowadays, many people started referring to the games as another side of the real world. An unfortunate side to the birth of this new world, however, was that the laws of the real world held no meaning whatsoever within it. As full dive games grew more popular, so did the rise of criminal activity using them as a proxy. Wait, how are you using games for criminal activity as a proxy? Illicit transactions of illegal items, fraud, an even bigger rise of hacking and cracking. Huh. Okay. These became known as full dive crimes, issues so serious that they've become a major point of contention within the real world. As a result, one man made it his mission to protect the people from those crimes. So I'm like a vigi uh, VR vigilante? <laughs> Perched on his glowing rainbow chair, this incredible hacker resolved any and all cases pertaining to games. Neon Nanashiki. Why am I talking about myself in the third person? <laughs> the gaming chair detective. That's how the people refer to me. Salazard has completely disassembled. We should be safe now. Is it just me, or did this image get more ridiculous? <laughs> that was quite the precarious situation. Thank you very much for saving me, Neon. My name is Ansi. Thanks, Ansi. Ansi, huh? Why was that Salazar chasing you anyway? As you know, Rust Tactics is being developed by Helios. But something strange is going on in this world. I'm not sure why, but game data from outside is making its way into the world. That's what I mean by mad, obstructive data. You did say mod in reference to that Salazard. Other game worlds have even been leaking into certain areas, huh. resulting in the creation of dungeons. I myself am a part of Helios, though I don't belong to the RT development team. For the time being, though, they're having me log into RT to seek out the cause of this mod phenomena. The reason that deck is effective against mods is because it's fashioned from the same data as them. So the deck is a mod. Analyzing a mod's data and turning it into a card will allow you to use its abilities. Fighting fire with fire, I see. Which makes this deck our one and only way of dealing with them. Or, hear me out, the giant sword. As for that email, I'd left it as a draft, but somehow it got sent. Why did you make your way here in spite of how little was written? Well, the sender was Project RT. I knew that was the internal name for Rust Tactics, Helios Interactive's latest full dive game, mainly thanks to a certain data broker. That and the email also said it was from Helios, which if he knew about Helios, then he could connect the dots. Other than that, uh, curiosity, really. Not only was it vague, there wasn't any mention of a work term or even remuneration. Uh, I wasn't sure if I could prepare anything for you in the first place, hence why it was left in my drafts. It's thanks to said email that I've come across both Artemis you has been wanting and to play fetch way too much lately. <sighs> as for my remuneration. How about we meet up offline for some food and drinks, once this is all wrapped up? Does that mean you're willing to accept the job? Of course, assuming you're okay with my offer. I am. Thank you. Then we've got an Interesting. Agreement. Looking forward to working with you, Ansi. Likewise. Huh? Uh, Ansi? What's wrong? There seems to be a large-scale mod leak occurring nearby. Let's make our way there, Neon. No rest for the wicked, I guess. Okay, so how does this work? This must be the dungeon belonging to the world that's leaking into Rust Tactics. Huh? What's wrong? That's weird. Feels like my deck got a lot lighter. Did some of my cards disappear? Uh, perhaps the data was overwritten due to us hopping between worlds. Oh no! Almost all of the cards we made in Rust Tactics have disappeared! Mean. It's probably safe to assume that the deck will get reset every time we enter a new dungeon, then. Th that might pose a problem. 
Ah, no sense in crying over spilt milk. I'll just have to make a new deck each time. Uh, I'm so sorry. I should have anticipated this. Don't sweat it. Uh, this is par for the course when it comes to detective work. I'll make sure to create a backup before they disappear from here on out. That'll be a big help. That aside, I did some hacking to get a better idea on what to expect from this dungeon. But it all has a familiar ring to it. A world with a sacred tree, mana, and an empire? That sure sounds like YR9 to me. Oh, Idrisil Records 9! That franchise is so popular that even non-gamers are aware of it. I do like that it's almost like there's nods to other games. Not just domestically, but even overseas as well. In a game that has to do with other games leaking into it. So, how do we go about restoring this dungeon to its original state? Someone here is likely to be in possession of partition data, which is causing the leak into RT's world. First, we need to locate them and obtain said data. Repairing that should also restore RT's world too. I'd be willing to bet that either Alfred or Canaria has it, considering they're the main characters. That or the final boss. No sense in pondering too much. Let's get searching. Okay. Let's try out your new deck. Okay, thank you. I don't know what I hit for that to happen. Must have been when I leaned down to deal with the cat. Thanks for the heads up. All right. Um, forge a rush card. How does this work? Keep your hands on my hilt, okay? Keep your hands on my hilt, okay? Never underestimate a steady. Keep your hands on my hilt, okay? So I get the forge part to get the rush card. But never underestimate it. Not sure about the what it's summoning, what that does. We'll go with the draw card. Look, it's got a cat on it. Oh, another battle. An easy opponent. Mm, looks pretty easy. It'll be okay. Don't let yourself panic. We need this for you, father. Keep this. I wouldn't expect any line number one, right? Just gonna stay here. Tell me what you desire. I'll make it come true. Goodbye. Was incredible, Neon. Whoa, I want that. Ah, oh, man. This bites. Look, a treasure chest. Twenty-eight damage. Cool. It doesn't matter how long it takes. So you can obtain cards straight from treasure chests, huh? You should often find rare cards in them too. Hmm? I can hear someone singing. Singing? That may mean there's a muse nearby. A muse. Enemy muses create negative effects in any battle er battles in adjacent areas. Defeating them will not only eliminate those effects, but also allow you to recruit them. Okay. Just another way to... Come on, fight me. Thank you. So when the first card each turn is played, discard the leftmost card in your hand. Forge a number of rush cards equal to its cost. Muses okay. have all sorts of special abilities, so take care when fighting them. Interesting. I wouldn't expect any less of you. You're in charge, Father. We need this for you. No. Today's victor is Neon. Didn't I already recruit that card, or no? I made it so that I could recruit it. Or is it just that you're getting a single one of these cards when you recruit a card? 
I thought it was adding it to the full deck, but I think it's just you get a single one. Take another one of these then. You did it. Come on, let's go. Be careful. The Muse's special effect has been tricked. Muses have all sorts of special abilities. Yes, so yes. Take care when fighting them. That's eating good. I wouldn't expect any less of you. Whatever he wants, I want. Tell me what you desire. I'll make it come true. Eat this. Congratulations, Neon. Ah, man. You made all the right calls there. How do I get the beat the muse or capture? I guess I can't till the end. That must be what the final boss is, is the muse. Or no, here here she is. You should fight that muse and recruit her. Enemy engaged. Alright. They've got 48 health. Wait, where are all my cards? I shouldn't have taken that damage. That was dumb. Wait, what? Each card has a significantly more powerful version of its effects. This is known as special skill. How did that get procced? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Using a card's special skill with red special skill energy will cause it to become fractured, rendering it unusable. Card that's become fractured cannot. Okay, so it's like getting rid of your card almost. We're left with no choice. Let's use a special attack to get through the situation. Okay. So we're gonna go. Let's use a special attack. I can't go up though. <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm going to hit the whole board no matter what. What happened to the card I used for that special attack? All of its power was expended. I'm afraid it's no longer usable. Okay. So you perform a powerful move in exchange for the card itself. Definitely not something I can use willy nilly. No. But we did capture the muse. Being an enemy muse will allow you to recruit a special muse card. You can, they will not enter your hand directly. Instead, they will support you in battle through their songs. FD Harpy condition forge thir three zero cost cards. Effect when playing a card, forge a number of rush cards equivalent to its cost. Okay. Hmm? Struggling to keep your eyes. All right, then we get to recruit another card. Will you stay with me? You made all the right calls there. You're in charge, Father. Let's test out the Muse's power. Okay. Playing certain conditions will allow an ally muse to begin their performance, bestowing unique effects during battles. It's like you need to forge three zero cost cards. Okay, so with the muse power activated, you can activate special skills without fracturing your cards. Each muse has their own personal triggers for their concerts. Mm -hmm. I'm number one. 
Is this the sort of stuff you're into? I really love that on the side of you. The Muse's power has given you access to a special attack. Interesting. Problem I have now is I can't. Oh, no way I can hit him. Alright. What is that? Undead aristocrat. Minus one cost per tile moved this turn. Interesting. There's nothing wrong with having your own desires. We're gonna take another forge card. We're making more residential areas, not enough people though, please help. To remove a card. I'll remove my fractured card then. Let's go grab the chest first. Nice, a treasure. Eat break. Inflict break on an enemy will reduce its attack saving. power. A blue card. I haven't seen one of these so far. It seems that this card can lower an enemy's offense. That sounds handy. Time to make some adjustments to my deck. This structural data is pretty complex, but I should be able to make partial alterations. What'd that do? Oh, it changed it to five break. One break, one damage. It worked. The card's effect changed? That's amazing. Wait, what happened to the... Oh, I couldn't fight those guys? Oh, I didn't realize that. I just skipped like three enemies before the boss. You won't be able to dodge this attack. Try using the card you just obtained. Yes, yes, yes. You need to reduce its damage. A big hug for you. Now you won't receive any damage. Cool. I'll keep my promise, no matter what. Take this! I need this for you. Take this! Take this! A powerful attack is coming, but there should be a way around it. Interesting. The enemy's been staggered. Use this opportunity to beat it to a pulp. Eat this. No need to rush. Give me a little fly. Tell me what you desire, I'll make it come true. You're in charge, father. I'll keep Is this the sort of stuff you're into? Alright, we got our muse. I really love that on the side of you. Attack. Mm, this might be a bad idea. 
Uh, we can't go up without ditching one of those. Makes it stronger. Cheat code. Okay. Forge a rush card when played. So that's what they mean. Ooh. That makes no sense. Unless you can go into the negative. Negative one cost for each zero cost card played this turn. Okay, it reduces the cost of this card. Reach zero cost card played. That's pretty cool. I shall protect you to my last. Next I floor. Need to ask, does the Idrisil Records franchise have any defining features? As the name implies, one of the big focuses is on the tree of the same name. It plays a different role depending on the entry. Sometimes it's portrayed as a holy tree. Other times it's portrayed as an evil one. It's even been used as a time machine. And then the protagonist turned out to be a sapling of it once? Interesting. Anything goes for trees, I guess. Yes. The franchise gets... Hopefully this is an easy opponent. Stop! It hurts! Fret not, for I am here! Hmm. We need this for you, father. Forward! <laughs> I wouldn't expect any less of you. Whatever he wants, I want. I'm number one, right? Take this! Take this! Enemy in breakdown! Go all out on them! Allow me to show you my fault! Is this the sort of stuff? I really love that on the side of you. I'll keep my promise, no matter what. Eh, it doesn't really matter what I play at this point. <laughs> 36 break? That's a pretty good one. Calm down, will you? Take the break. Franchise gets Father's enemy is my enemy. Uh, this might be a bad idea. It'll be okay. Don't let yourself panic. I don't like any of these. Alright, so the problem is blue and red. Assuming, okay, so no, this is the blue one. This is the red one. So red is going to hit the up-down row. If I kill blue and I move forward or backwards, then I'll be fine. Eat this! Eat this! Jackpot! I wouldn't expect any less of you. You're in charge, father. It's your turn, Neon. I can swim wherever I want. Ah, uh, goodbye. That was incredible, Neon. Will you stay with me? How about we take a break? Here? Area subjugated. It's important to get proper rest. Subjugation bonus recovery. Defeating every enemy in an area will yield a subjugation bonus. Selecting recovery will restore your HP. Okay. When a franchise gets that long, sure thing. Oh, there's rumors that the trees from each entry are all connected, too. That would make for a big plot twist. With pride at heart, we ride! Stop. It's another muse. Okay. Don't let yourself panic. Same muse effect, though. Neon? 
Interesting. Calm down, will you? That would make for a big plot twist. Hello, Muse. Sure Watch out! There's something suspicious about that enemy's movement. When played or at end of turn, three damage to self, gain three attack. I had two virus cards to hand. Interesting. What if I do that? Oh, it just got in my way. <laughs> Take this. Are you okay, Neon? It's happening again. You're leaving yourself. Our turn. All right. So I just need to kill them. you desire I'll make it come I don't know you I do feel a bit sorry beat them to a pulp we need this for you father our turn allow me to show you my we need this for you father Forward. goodbye we zero cards in one turn effect gain three attack or three power Damage and break to enemies plus one whenever a zero cost card is played. Go my grandmother. That's pretty cool, Muse. Will you stay with me? World works in strange ways. What's up, Gallic? Okay, enhanced card, forge. A rush card when played. Wait, yes. No. Is it gonna begin? It'll be okay. Don't let yourself panic. All right, indeed. All right, so we gotta move forward or back, or up, down. Anyways, we gotta move. We gotta hit him. Move back. wherever I want. See like this. Take this. You're a big hug for you. You're going out. I'm so happy. Give me a little prize. That was incredible, Neon. Thank you. You did it. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, what's up with that? They're back there again. It's happening again. I can't protect anyone. It'll be okay. Don't let yourself panic. We need this. I'll keep my promise. Take this. Uh, Neon. Take this. I brought cake and wine for you. Off I go. Eat this. Neon. Oof. Eat this. That was rude. No need to rush. I have down to me, will you? Get broken. I do feel a bit sorry. You're right, Mama. Is this the same? I really love it. Take this. Goodbye. A flawless victory. There's nothing wrong. You made all the right calls there. What's up? That sure is a ruckus. What's going on? It'll be okay. Don't let yourself panic. 
What do I want to do? I want to... If I take him out, I'll still get hit by them for eight. I don't like this hand I've been given. So we're gonna hold on to this guy. We'll draw. Oh, I forgot about the timer. That's on me. Both of our muse up. I do feel a bit sorry. That's cool. Flawless victory. I shall protect you. You did it. You're such a Sam. I'm detecting a trick. Card recruited. Hellfire's wrath. 16 damage, and then banish this card. Show them no mercy. And now we have a yellow card. You might just be able to negate an enemy's attack if you use it correctly. <sighs> that sounds pretty powerful. Time to make some adjustments to my deck. The stronger the effect, the more complex the code is. I've got the hang of it now, though. If within the enemy's attack range, when time counter is at one trigger an action phase. Another... You altered another card's effect! Interesting. What attack? is this thing? This isn't good. It does forty damage. Action cards. Ah, uh, okay. When their requirements aren't fulfilled, they can be used as regular cards. Gauge the situation and use them as necessary. I get it. You're leaving yourself open. No need to rush. Don't be so upfront about your feelings. I might just take you seriously. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Keep my promise, no matter what. I'll keep. Is this? I really love that on the side of me. I want to use that, but I'll get hit. But I guess it doesn't really matter. I can take a hit. Let's make sure to avoid. Take this. Take. I brought cake. Off I go. Take this. Oh, because I don't have the energy. Up. 
What a vulgar. What about Nine then? What's yeah. special about it? Nine's mainly focused on the mana that flows from the sacred tree. It's also the franchise's first foray into the open world genre, so the setting is close to the first games. So they've made it easier for newcomers to get it. Which the hell are these like guys? From my wonder. It'll be okay. Don't let yourself panic. Sixty-two damage, huh? Eat this. Eat this. Oh, he moved. While this card is in hand, reduce damage dealt to zero. Banish this card and draw one card when damage would otherwise be dealt. Huh. It's your turn, Neon. <laughs> A big hug for you. You're going out. I'm so happy. I brought cake and wine. Off I go. Give me a little fly. Forward. Take this. Our turn. Don't be so upfront about your feelings. I might just take you. I need this for you. I do feel a bit sorry. Oh my God! This guy does 55 damage now. Sea, land. Guy, anyway. Settle down. Is this a I really love it on the side of you? Take this. Take this. There we go. for newcomers to get into. Interesting. Not only are the foundations solid, apparently... Father's enemy is my enemy. I can swim wherever I want. Sea, land, sky, anywhere. I need this for you, Father. I'll keep my promise, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Take this! Take this. I brought cake and wine. Broke him, got the muse summoned. Okay, Neon? It's happening again. I can't protect anyone. Give me a little fly. Settle down, will you? You're in charge, Father. Tell me what you desire. I'll make I'll keep Is this I really love that I need this for you, Father? Take this! No! Are you okay, Neon? It's happening again. I can't protect anyone. I don't know why I still got hit by them, but that's okay. Not only are the foundations solid, apparently plot twists toward the There's Alfric, the main character of Yggdrasil Records 9 in the flesh. Hmm? Though his home country is a neutral state, his vigilante experience and general skill with mana makes him an incredible all-round warrior. <laughs> Which would mean that the lady. Sorry, I'm just gonna check messages real quick here. And yeah, nothing. Yep, spells it. The sacred, the imp. Why her? Uh, I assume you. Uh, faint. I can. Other world. But I've got. I can. I'll give no quarter to any agent. 220, of the 40 break. Father's enemy is my enemy. I need this, I need this for you, father. I'll slice you down! How did I miss? I, I brought cake. Off I go! Eat this! Take this! That sure was a surprise! Huh? I won't let you have Canaria! Is this? I really love that on the side of you. That's what I wanted. Take this! How 
did I miss? Take this! They're strong. <laughs> to the earth slump. Watch out, Neon. I'm detecting a. No oh, come you on. Are. My slump will reach you. May the mana's magical blessings be with you. Take, take this. Uh, Halfrick. my promise no matter what i've so got this <laughs> the dungeon's beginning to stabilize which proves they can be restored by obtaining the partition data getting ready for work well, i hope you have a good day at work i definitely like this game um thank you for sharing it with me this is uh pretty good I like stacking up the break and the damage on the zero cost cards from the getting the muses unlocked. Yeah. Glad things worked out in the. What's going on? I figured you two were here for Canaria. Yeah, sorry. Uh, giving you the full rundown would take a bit too much time, but I promise we're not here to get in the way of your journey. And it, well then, like, uh, don't we? Yeah. Not Wait. Uh, May them think. All right. Hey, and we got Ulrich as a card, as an action card at that. Uh, attack amp, break amp, and draw amp. Okay. I'm Alfred Leaf, former vigilante of the kingdom of the sacred tree. Pleased to meet you. And we got the muse from him, too. The will of the sacred tree guides my path. Okay. Level up. I don't know what this means. Clear bonus. Difficulty, level zero cleared, floor cleared, turns taken. You get score, XP, difficulty until next level. And we're out of the dungeon. We were able to stop the mod leak. <sighs> All right. Well, that was pretty cool. That's all. Yes. Where Error fragment. An... I'm not this. Is... Let's keep a hold of it for now. So the leaks are being caused when an error fragment interacts with partition data. But where did the fragments even come from? Good question. You must be exhausted, Neon. Oh, that's a great idea. I forgot that we pretty much came straight here from RT's world. So... Yeah. Break time. Hello. All right, but that is going to be it for this one, guys. I'm going to uh, take a break here. Yeah. This looks like a fun game. Looks like a lot of interesting characters. I like the voice acting. The combat's really cool. Uh, this is definitely a fun one.